proper takeoff technique makes it easier for you to stand up quickly with your feet in the perfect position. The pop-up we're about to show you has been the most successful with beginners at barefoot surf travel. This technique works for long boards and foam boards. Here's the takeoff step by step. First, paddle until you have really caught the wave. If you're not sure if you've caught it completely, give two extra paddles. Once you have caught the wave, place both hands flat on the surfboard next to your pectorials. Do a push-up with your toes tucked on the tail of the surfboard. This creates space between your body and the surfboard. Your knees, legs and waist should not touch the board. First slide your back foot forward on the board. Your back foot should be brought to the position of your opposite knee. Then slide your front foot forward in between your hands. Notice that until now, the surfer has always kept his hands on the board whilst doing his pop-up. Keeping your hands on the board helps stabilise the surfboard and maintains the speed. Once you feel stable and comfortable, stand up. Make sure your feet are well positioned before you take your hands off the board. Keep your knees bent and look where you want to go. Don't grab your rails. It makes it harder to keep your balance and creates drag underwater. Keep your hands flat on your board. Don't bring your knees onto the surfboard. It will throw you off balance. This is a bad habit because in bigger, steeper waves, you won't have time to slide your knees before popping up. Don't bring your front foot first. Your feet will land too far back on your longboard, hitting the brakes and slowing you down. Bringing your back foot first, then your front foot, is the easiest way to keep your speed and stay with the wave. Keep your knees bent and compress your lower body. Don't lock your knees. As soon as your legs are straight, it becomes very hard to keep your balance. Don't bend your upper body. This is one of the most common mistakes we see in beginners trying to keep their balance. In most cases, surfers end up falling off their boards. Don't look at your feet when you're doing the takeoff. It makes it harder to keep your balance. You want to look where you want to go. Here's one last takeoff, step by step. Paddle until you've caught the wave. Push up. Slide your back foot first. Slide your front foot in between your hands. Stand up and keep your knees bent. Look where you want to go. If you're a beginner or intermediate surfer, looking to learn to surf or improve your skills, head over to the livemoremagazine.com to unlock your surfing potential and get ready for your next surf trip. If you have any questions about your takeoff technique or you want to share any personal experiences on how to stand up on your surfboard, please let us know in the comments below. If you feel like this video has helped your surf progression, please give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on our next surfing tutorial.